Hello everyone, this is Rizwan Yusuf. This video tutorial is a second part of CRUD operations in RESTful APIs using MVC Core. If you have not seen first part of the video, then I will suggest please go and watch it first. We have implemented all five CRUD operations in last video using implied dummy data class or imply mockup class as we as we discussed in the last part of the video we will perform our crud operations using entry favor core and we will save retrieve edit delete data in sql server database so let's get started with it in order to use entry framework core in our project we have to install few NuGet packages in our project. I will right click on dependencies and then I will select manage NuGet packages. From here I will select Microsoft SQL Server By the way, I have already installed these two packages The first one is Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot SQL Server and the second one is dot tools as you can see it is showing in installed so these two packages we have to install in our project in order to successfully use entry favor core in our project okay In second step or in or in next step in next step we will create our context class after installing the NuGet packages successfully I will right click on model folder and add a class I will call it imply context this class will in inherit from db context db context class i will reference it and i will create constructor of this class in this constructor i will add db context option
नेक्स्ट आई विल क्रिएट डीबी सेट प्रॉपर्टीज This implies property or this model will act as a table in our implied DB. When we run our migrations, this model will be created as table in our database. Okay. Next, I will add DB context class. in startup class as services i will click on startup class and add our services over here in here we will add our connection string but right now we have no any connection string defined in a application setting dot json so so let's create it in server name i will give my sql server instance name right now i will add this connection connection string name in our services next i will add a class in employee data i will call it sql employee data in this class we will deal with sql server because we are talking about sql server now we are not talking about dummy data we will deal with sql server in this class okay i will uh, i will implement our interface in this class and inject db context in this class i will create con i will create 
a constructor of this class So, these are the five method which we will redesign according to our requirements, but first we have to change in our startup class add one more service. I will add services, I will select services. That's it. Let's go to our implied data class, SQL implied data class. I will change it little bit.
So, you can see we have implemented all the method using entry favor core approach get implies get imply by id edit imply add imply and so on no i am going one i am going to perform one of the major uh, step of migration as we discussed in earlier part of the video we will migrate our model and model will be created as a as a table in our database so let's do our migration i will go tool option and select nuget package manager and select package manager console in console i will write I will name it and press enter. Yes you can see our migration has been created successfully yes you can see our migrations have been created successfully now i will update these migrations let me check you one thing our db name is imply db right now we have no imply db in databases list so let's run our migration So let's check in our databases list our database is available here or not I will refresh it Yes here we can find I can see imply database Yes this is our this is our database imply db imply db our database has been successfully created using migrations okay and in our database i can see our table as well implies and migration history so this is the right time to check our api's method it is working or not using entity framework core First, I will run our project. Yes, our project is running. I will copy this address. I will copy this URL and add post postman. Get. I will select get and hit the send button so now we are getting empty array because we have no record in our database so first we add data in our database and then we fetch then we retrieve the data from database so first we add the database first we add record in database so I will select new request of postman add URL select the post method
body i will add this one and hit the send button yes our record has been successfully inserted into the database so let's check yes so i will add one more record in database yes one more one more row is inserted in our in our table so next we will check our edit method so i will add one more request of postman I will select batch I will select the ID which I want to edit. so our record has been successfully edited let's check in our database yes you can see the record has been successfully edited next we will check our delete api i will add one more request of postman and paste the url here i will select delete from here 
select the id of employee which we want to delete and press the send button yes we have got 200 status with okay let's check in our database the record is exist or not yes you can see our record has successfully deleted okay so you can see we have performed crud operations using entity framework core i hope you will like the video if you like it just give it thumbs up do subscribe my channel for some more content and keep watching have a nice day thank you